Um, so RISD is located in Rhode Island. It is located in Providence, which is the capital city. Um, it is a top tier art and design school. So we are a four year program. We offer BFAs, Bachelor of Fine Arts, as well as MFAs, Masters of Fine Arts. So we do have a graduate program. Um, Providence is a great city. It's very affordable post-graduation. It's eclectic. Um, it has all different types of support for visual and performing artists. And we're nested between two other great cities. So we're 50 minutes from Boston, three and a half hours away from New York City. <clears throat> so even oh sorry, even though there we're focused in art and design, there's not one type of student that comes to RISI. So we still have people who are musicians, performers, athletes, people interested in government and leadership. Um, we are a small school. We're private. We only have about 2,400 students. 300 of those are graduate students. A freshman class is 460 students. Um, so you won't know every single person, but you will probably see very familiar faces. Um, Rizzi is comprised of 45 buildings, and we are in a historic residential area. We are also neighbors to Brown University. So if you've ever visited Providence or are interested in Brown, um, Brown University is right here. And Rizzi's all in the red. So we're very close, right across the street, and I'll talk more about our collaborations. Um, first set of buildings, admissions is at the top of the hill, and this area is known as College Hill. The first clump of buildings is then the freshman dorm, known as the quad. That's where all freshmen live. There's a main dining facility called the Met. Then we have entry to the museum, the foundation building, the nature lab, most of our departmental buildings. Um, across the canal is our library, as well as upperclassmen dorms. Cross campus is industrial design and architecture. And then further downtown is graduate studies. So from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill is about a seven minute walk downhill. Cross campus, 10 minutes. Further downtown, another 10. <laughs> 5개의 빌딩이 있고 여기는 이제 굉장히 역사적인 동네 지역입니다. 그리고 어, 브라운 대학이 바로 이웃하고 있고요. 같이 이제 브라운 대학과 어떻게 공동으로 어, 일하고 있는지는 나중에 다시 설명드릴게요. 그래서 어, 이거 이 전체를 아카데믹 힐이라고 하는데 언덕이라고 하는데 맨 위에가 어뮤션 오피스고요. 그리고 그 외에 이제 뮤지엄이 있고 파운데이션 빌딩이 있고 어, 라이브러리가 여기 강이 건너서 있는 Okay. <clears throat> so other facts and stats. So freshman so talking about housing. Freshman and sophomore year housing is required unless you're 21 plus or married. So typically if you're coming in as a freshman, you're living at the quad, which is pictured here. This is just an example of one of our dorm rooms. This is Zoe. She's pretty eclectic herself, um, but you really, you probably will have a roommate. Again, you will meet some very fascinating, very interesting, smart, hardworking individuals. And then as an upperclassman, you will probably find yourself in this building. This is the library, upper floors are dorms. We also have historic homes that are carried over into um, kind of dorm style. And then this is a traditional upperclassman room. So raised beds, extra storage, there might be a partition wall, a little bit more privacy. These are set up more in apartment or suite style. So outside your bedroom door are two to three other doubles or singles, shared bathroom, kitchen, and lounge for six to eight students. And then outside your suite door, elevator bay, laundry facility, bigger workroom. Mm -hmm. uh, 어, 모든 그 신입 학생들은 그 어, 도르미토리에 어, 꼭 기숙사에 기숙사에 꼭 지내야 필수로 지내야 되고요. 아까 보신 그그 핑크로 있는 학생이 그 
신입 학생이었고요. 이제 아까 보신 그 빌딩이 어, 어, 그 고학년들을 위한 어, 기숙사인데요. 아파트, 아파트의 스타일이고 좀더 이렇게 더 이렇게 그 프라이버시를 보호해 줄수 있도록 어, 여섯 명에서 여덟 명이 같이 살고 이제, 어, 이제 어떤 그런 스위트의 어, 아파트의 형식으로 된 기숙사입니다. Okay. And then talking about dining, um, we actually have fabulous dining. We're one of the top um, dining for on campus for vegan and vegetarian. We also have, um, this is central to the freshmen. So in the morning, it's very convenient to grab a coffee. After studio, most students come up, walk together, return things to their dorm, go to dinner. We have everything from a baked potato bar, sushi, um, uh, Korean bibimbap bar, oven, pizza oven grill, lots of fresh vegetables, froyo, ice cream, beverages. Um, we also stay open during holiday breaks as well as late night hours in case you want a midnight snack or you are working late in studio. 네, 이제 그 식사, 여기 이제 식단을 보여주셨는데 어, 비근, 그러니까 시, 채식주의자들한테 굉장히 잘 어, 될 수, 그 제공이 될수 있도록 메뉴가 다양하게 돼 있고요. 어, 그리고 그 휴가 때나 아니면 이제 밤 늦게까지도 열려 있기 때문에 어, 신입생 학생들이 잘 이용할 수 있는 공간입니다. Yes. Yeah, you can ask that. that I was going to talk about that later, but it's totally fine. So we are a private school. Tuition is the same for every type of student, international, transfer, undergraduate. This year's tuition is about $44,000 a year. Room and board is about $12,000. And we tell students to set, a, set aside anywhere from $500 to $1,000 for books, supplies, materials. Yep, that's a good question. And I'll talk about scholarship later on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 어, 모든 이제 신입, 편입 어, 이 학생들 전부다가, 전부가 매년 4만 4천 불이고요. 그 기숙사비는 1만 2천 불. 그리고 이제 나머지 어떤 재료비나 생활비로 5천 불에서 8천 불. So RISI is an art and design school. We're different than a university. We don't have Division I football. We don't have 10,000 students. Um, but this is a great campus-wide event. It's called our Artist Ball. It's a costume ball that happens during Halloween time. We have all different clubs and organizations. We do have sports. They're intramural and co-ed, um, so they function on co-ed level. Um, we also encourage you to bring your interest, um, anything that you'd like to initiate, all different sports, as well as um, bands, music, singing. These are just a list of some of the examples that we offer. And we also do partner with Brown. So on a social level, um, you can use any of Brown's facilities. They have an Olympic-sized pool. They have about six to seven, eight more gyms than we do. Um, but you can attend their events. You can play on their club teams. Um, and Brown students can also um, attend and use RISD facilities. Mm -hmm. so, uh, 그런 어, 가 있고요. 음, 그리고 또그 스포츠 팀이 있어요. 그래서 이제 같이 어, 그 남녀랑 같이 할 수, 그 같이 구성된 팀이 있고 밴드도 있고 그런 이렇게 다양한 활동을 할수 있습니다. 그래서 브라운하고 브라운 대와 같이 그 어, 네, 이런 클럽 활동을 쉐어하고 같은 시설을 쓸수 있기 때문에 브라운에 있는 수영장이나 뭐그 피트니스 이런 시설을 이용할 수 있어요. Great. Okay, getting into some of the resources. So we have an amazing museum. It is separate from the school, but central to the campus. All of your faculty will send you there to draw from observation, write papers. This is a great place to do um, a work study or an internship about museums, curation, how a museum functions. We have an amazing library. Um, this is right below those freshman dorms. So it was an old bank building. We acquired this um, really great great space, obviously, for reading, writing, study groups. Also, right across from the library is another dining facility for upperclassmen. Um, there's also a small grocery. So in case you do want to cook, um, you can buy some groceries from there. So lots of different resources, material resource, image clipping file, and then our nature lab, which is a living learning lab. It supports a core philosophy, and that is to draw from observation. So I know you guys are doing that. I've seen it through the work earlier today, but still life's um, set up you know, for self-portrait, use a mirror, look at your reflection. We look at that for the portfolio. This is a living lab. It has live animals like chinchillas, fish, turtles. 
Freshmen spend anywhere from nine to 10 hours a week per studio related to something in the nature lab and transfers during their summer foundation as well, similar schedule. 아까 보신 뮤지엄이 이제 학교의 캠퍼스의 중요한 부분인데요. 선생님들이 이제 가서 그림을 그려오라고 어, 직접 보고 그림을 그려오라고 하든지 그, 거기 뮤지엄에 있는 것에 대해서 보고 어, 글을 작성해오라고 하든지 그런 식으로 이제 그 프로그램에 많이 참여가, 어, 참여를 하게 되는 그런 장소이고요. 어, 큐레이팅이나 어떤 뮤지엄이 어떻게 돌아가는지 그런 기능에 대해서 알수 있는 그런 어, 곳입니다. 그래서 어, 뮤, 어, 뮤지엄을 어, 아, 그 아까 보신 그 신입생 기숙사 밑에 라이브러리가 있는데요. 라이브러리 건너편에는 그 다이닝 아, 식당이 또 하나 있고요. 거기서 이제 어, 어, 그 식료품 가게도 있어서 어, 그 식사하실 걸살수 어, 있고요. 그리고 네이처랩을 아까 보시, 지금 여기 보시고 계시는데 어, 이게 이제 그 리시의 가장 중요한 어떤 철학을 얘기해 줍니다. 그래서 어, 보고 직접 보고 그리는 것에 굉장한 중요를 두고 있고요. 그게 어, 포트폴리오에서 우리가 원하는 그런 어, 중요한 부분입니다. 그래서 신입생은 9시간에서 10시간 정도를 어, 스튜디오 코스 하나당 어, 그만큼 어, 시간을 투자해서 여기서 이제 직접 보고 여러 가지 다양한 어, 자연물들을 직접 보고 그리는 시간을 갖습니다. Okay. <clears throat> so for all incoming freshmen, we have a true foundation year. It is required, it's the full year, it's both semesters. It's made up of three separate studios, drawing, design principles, which is known as 2D, and then spatial dynamics, which is 3D. These are eight hour studios, typically once a week, and then you will take art history and then English. Um, if you are a transfer, you will do a very similar summer foundation. It's a compressed six week summer session. Um, so transfers come in, they usually start as a fall semester sophomore, but they will take those course studios in that summer. 지금 이제 신입생은 어 파운데이션 코스를 1년 동안 하는 것이 필수이고요. 드로잉 2D, 3D, 그리고 미술사, 그리고 영어 이렇게 돼 있습니다. 그래서 이어 드로잉 드로잉과 2D, 3D는 어 8시간 네그 코스고요. 어 편입은 6개월 동안 그러니까 어 가을 학기에 2학년으로 들어오기 전에 6개월 동안 어, 여름 학기를 들어야 됩니다. 근데 이거를 여름 학기는 이제 6개월 동안 요거를 아주 어, 집중 있게 하는 그런 어, 프로그램입니다. 아, 6주요. 네, <웃음> 죄송합니다. Great. Okay, so in our drawing class, we work very large from the figure. We also draw Conte crayon, Sumi ink, charcoal, some collaborative projects from the nude figure as well as abstraction. Design principles is mostly color, collage, lots of gouache, acrylic. Um, visual communication, and then spatial dynamics is all 3D, um, wood, metal, wire, plaster, paper, cardboard. So some collaborative, but mostly on your own. Um, your first day or week at RISD, you'll probably have homework due. That's typical. Um, but again, eight hour studios, one hour for lunch, couple 15 to 20 minute breaks. Um, and then critique is built into all of these classes. So that's very important. It's always constructive. Um, you know, typically a faculty will have everyone put their homework up on the wall and you take time with everyone's piece. Sometimes you might only pick out five students and talk about those pieces. Some faculty have students pick out each other's work. So critique is crucial throughout your entire time at RISD. It is important to be an active listener as well as a participant. It will help you talk about your own work as well as receive criticism and feedback to work and um, progress in your own. <laughs> 어이 여덟 시간 있는 그그 그, 그 교실에서 아, 그 수업에서 한 시간 동안 이제 어 점수 시간을 가지고 계속 어 이제 수업이 가, 진행되는데 이제 크리틱이 굉장히 중요한 이 수업의 부분이고요. 그냥 열심히 듣는 것도 중요하지만 그 크리틱에 같이 참여하는 것도 굉장히 중요합니다. Okay, so our academic calendar is really two semesters. We have fall and spring, but instead of a long holiday break, we have winter session. It is required, it's about five to six weeks. Um, freshmen have first priority as well as first year transfers in their first year. So um, you will have a two week holiday break, 
winter session, a week break, and then spring semester. And you also have a spring break within your spring semester. But this is a really good time to do whatever you want. You can take up to two classes, which is six credits. Um, students who don't like cold winters in Rhode Island, you can travel abroad. Um, if you wanted to take glass blowing or creature creation, which is the puppetry, sculpture, and foam objects that are in that brochure, you can do that. You can do an internship. So many upperclassmen do an internship. Um, you are required to do winter session every four years, so you can take up to six credits or two classes or typically a travel abroad. Sixteen different majors. These are all of our undergraduate majors. They're the four-year BFA Bachelor of Fine Art programs, um, with the exception to one, and that is architecture. We do offer a five-year architecture program. You would get a BFA as well as a BArc, Bachelor of Architecture. You can work towards your licensing exams, work directly in the field. If you only do four-year architecture at RISD or any other school and you want to be a working architect, um, you do need to go for a master's program, typically for two years. So the good thing to know with an undergraduate when you apply as a freshman, you can choose any one of these majors and you don't have to put it on your application, nor do you have to show a prerequisite in your portfolio. We don't expect you to know what you want to do now for the next four to five years and you don't have a, have a prerequisite. So we don't base our numbers off of that application. Um, if you are interested in any of these and you've been doing work related, I would encourage it, um, but we will talk more about what we also like to see in the portfolio. When you apply as a transfer, you do have to choose a major. So that's where acceptance rates vary. For transfers, I will tell you, it is very competitive. Film animation video, industrial design, painting, as well as graphic design and architecture. Those are popular because they have a high applicant pool for transfer, as well as not as much space. Freshmen choose a major the first year, typically the month of March in the spring semester. And again, you if you are interested in jewelry, but you've never made jewelry before, you can still choose it. Um, you don't have to apply to it or have a prerequisite. 네, 이제 16가지, 16개 전공으로 어, 구성되어 있고요. 어, 모두 네, 4년 BFA 과정입니다. 어, 그 예외가 있는데 건축은 5년이고요. BFA, BFA와 BA 과정을 어, 어, 둘다 수료하는, 수료하게 되고요. 어, 그리고 이제 음, 그 신입 학생은 전공을 정하지 않아도 돼요. 정, 전공 전하지, 정하지 않고 정해도 되지만 정하지 않아도 되고요. 어, 선임 학생은 꼭이 중에서 전공을 정해서 어, 지원을 해야 합니다. The other thing I just want to state, so they might know this, but art school on an undergraduate level is not ranked. It's only ranked via US News for graduate programs, which we do offer. So RISD is highly ranked, typically number one and number two, with Yale for um, painting as well as graphic design. So we see a high influx of students interested in those majors because of similar faculty as well as for graduate school. What were the, um, the majors that you said is really popular in freshman? Or for competitiveness, yeah. um, film animation video, mm -hmm. industrial design, um, painting, graphic design, and architecture. Right. Yeah. 건축, film and animation, graphic design, uh, industrial design, painting, 이렇게 전공들은 굉장히 인기가 많은 전공들이기 때문에 어, 그 지원자가 훨씬 더 경, 경쟁이 많이 일어나는 그런 어, 전공들이고요. 어, 대학교는 보통 랭크를 매기질 않아요. 랭크 순위가 이렇게 있거나 그 대학교의 순위를 매기지 않는데 대학원은 순위를 매기거든요. 그래서 어, 어, 리스디가 페인팅과 그래픽 디자인으로는 항상 거의 예일과 맞먹는 순위를 어, 다투고 있습니다. Yeah. The next slides I'm going to show are of the major, so I'll stop like every three. Yeah. Because we're not in New York, but we actually have a phenomenal program, lots of guest critics. Um, our students have amazing outcomes for careers. We have students that do New York Fashion Week, Project Runway. They go on to companies like Diane von Furstenberg, um, Mark Jacobs. We have students who also uh, an alumni, Nicole Miller, she went to RISD. So you will do fashion illustration. You also do draping, sewing. You will make a collection, and that can be menswear, women's wear, or children's wear. Architecture, this is a really great program. There is focus on engineering and the technical aspects. You will do drafting and model making, um, but there's also collaboration and different ideas with LEED certification um, and just general philosophies of architecture in a community. 
And then ceramics, really wonderful fine arts major. You can be making vessels. You can also do more non-traditional sculptural, um, but made out of ceramic ware. Those are baby heads and spaghetti. Yeah. 방금 보신 전공들은 패션을 보셨고요. 뉴욕이 이제 패션의 어떤 그 터부니까 뭐 별로 주, 리시가 별로 좋지 않다고 생각하실 수 있겠지만 어, 아주 멋진 그 프로그램을 가지고 있고요. 그래서 어, 많은 학생들과 그 졸업생들이 어, 어, 성공적으로 활동하고 있습니다. 어, 건축은 아까 보셨듯이 어떤 그 엔지니어링, 그 공학과 어떤 테크니컬 기술적인 것에 그 치중을 두는 것이 있고요. 어, 세라믹은 보셨듯이 지금 어, 별로 그 그러니까 어, 트레디셔널 하지 않게 좀 이렇게 더 수영적으로 하는 그런 부분도 있습니다. Okay, glass. Um, Rizzi, if you did not know, Dale Chihuly, world-renowned glass artist. He's an alumni as well as a founding faculty member of glass. So there are traditional techniques, hot blowing, cold um, casting, but we're also seeing students move into more performance, light projection and sound. So um, glass has a very experimental and non-traditional format now. Furniture, we are one of the few schools that actually has a separate furniture department. So there was a high interest back in the 2000s from industrial design for furniture. So again, traditional materials, techniques, um, tables, uh, dinnerware, things like that. And then also more furniture as sculpture and also contemporary aspect. Graphic design, I'm simply just showing two posters here, but graphic design is very broad. You will learn typography, color, packaging, book design. We have students go into publishing, um, UI, UX, mobile apps, web design. So it opens up a very large career. Um, students who major in this find themselves going in all different types of avenues. Uh, Chihuly. <laughs> 그 요소들도 배우고요. 어, 그래픽 디자인은 일단 간단하게 포스터 두 개만 보여드리는데, 어, 하지만 더 배우는 어떤 그 영역은 굉장히 넓고요. 이제 학생들이 어, 나중에 이제 진출하는 영역이 뭐 어, 어, 출판이라든지 모바일 어, 디자인이라든지 앱 디자인이라든지 이런 식으로 굉장히 다양한 영역으로 어, 그 진출할 수 있는 그런 전공입니다. 네. Illustration, this tends to be one of our larger majors, anywhere from 90 to 100 students. Many students do editorial, publish work, uh, children's stories, as well as getting into storyboarding, concepting, which might lead into 3D animation or toy design, so um, very various avenues. So even though it's a 2D major, you can still have 3D outcomes. Industrial design, very popular right now for both male and female applicants, um, really focused on product design and development. Uh, Look, taking things already existing, uh, redesigning it for a better human experience. Also, lots of different uh, uh, cross-collaboration-inspired uh, studios. So we partnered with NASA for a long time, with the Moon Buggy. I believe we had something with Samsung. Um, so we've had a lot of internships, careers, um, as well as outside influence with collaboration. Uh, yeah. No, go ahead. You can do, yeah. 아, 학생 수가 굉장히 많은데요. 90명에서 100명이고요. 어, 어떤 편집이나 어, 동화 어, 작가 또는 이제 컨셉팅, 개념을 이제 구성하는 그런 어, 직업으로 어, 발전할 수 있는데 어, 이런 거가 나중에 뭐 3D 애니메이션이나 장난감 디자인 정도. 그러니까 2D 메이크, 2D로 하는 전공이지만 어떤 그 결과가 이제 3D 디자인으로 어, 나올 수 있는 그런 전공 그리고 인더스트리얼 디자인은 굉장히 지금 인기가 많은 전공이고요. 어, 그래서 프로덕트 디자인과 어떤 그런 개발적인 어, 것을 어, 이제 집중 그런 것에 집중하는 전공인데 어, 나사 나사 아시죠? 그 미국의 뭐지? 그 삼성하고 그 협, 협동을 해서 이제 어, 학생들과 같이 어, 어, 공동 작업을 해보는 그런 프로젝트. 
Interior architecture, which is different than interior design. Interior design is more the focus of fabric, material, furniture, maybe space allocation. We focus on those things too, as well as the architecture, um, the space planning, as well as how a space can influence the human experience. So interior design is very different than interior architecture. We offer interior architecture. Jewelry and metalsmithing, this is actually quite a popular major. Um, I wanted to show you things that were a little bit non-traditional, uh, larger. We're seeing jewelry as full-on wearable sculpture as well as mixed materials. And then painting. Again, these are just some examples. RISD does not promote one style, method, artist, or movement. So for a major like painting, you will learn traditional techniques. There will be lots of guest critics as well as gallery visits, exposure. Um, but your artwork really takes its own uh, path as well as ideas. Interior design, interior architecture 전공인데 interior design과 이제 다른 점이 어. 인간의 이 공간에 어떤 영향을 끼치는지에 대한 어, 집중을 더 하기 때문에 인테리어 디자인은 어떤 그 어, 가구라든지 어, 어떻게 그 정렬이 돼 있는지 공간이 정렬이 돼 있는지 뭐 또는 천의 어떤 그런 이런 디테일한 거고 이게 그 다른 점이 있는데요. 그래서 인테리어 아키텍처가 리지디에 있습니다. 주얼리와 메탈 스미스이 있었는데 그거 굉장히 그 인기가 좋은 어, 전공이고요. 그래서 입을 수 있는 어떤 스컬처 어 이거 하고 뭐 이렇게 다양한 재료를 써서 어, 어 하는 어그 보석 디자인이 어 보여졌고요. 어 페인팅도 어 인기가 굉장히 좋은 전공입니다. 근데 뭐그 어떤 한 가지 스타일을 가지고 어 배우거나 어떤 한 아티스트에 대해서만 공부하는 것이 아니라 어정어그 전통적인 어떤 테크닉도 배우지만 어 다양한 크리 그러니까 그 비평가들에 노출이 되어 있어서 좀더 이렇게 그어 전, 어떤 전통적인 테크닉과 어떤 그 피드백을 같이 받을 수 있는 그런 환경입니다. 어, 사진 전공을 보셨는데 지금 어, 어떤 그 어, 흑백 사진 전통적인 흑백 사진에서 이제 디지털화되는 그런 과정을 어, 가지고 있었는데 어, 결국 네, 서, 설치 예술로 어떻게 확장된다든지 아웃풋이 조금 다르게 나오고 있습니다. 그래서 어, 리시가 어떤 그 전통적인 기술적인 측면에도 그 어, 중요성을 두고 있지만 어, 어, 테크놀로지의 그더 어, 발전적으로 가는 그런 어, 트렌드를 어, 잘 어, 따라가고 있습니다. 그래서 어, 프린트 메이킹도 지금 보시고 계신데요. 지금 어, 이렇게 프린트 메이킹을 했지만 나중에 그 백화점에 윈도우 디스플레이를 한다든지 이제 더 나중에 그 직업이 더 확장돼서 학생이 자기가 하는 전공 외에 더 확장된 어떤 영역으로 나갈 수 있도록 리스티가 도와주고 있습니다. Okay, sculpture. Um, this is just an example from a senior show. So. Opportunity to work very large. Um, the nice thing with sculpture too, there's movement into performance artwork as well as this is housed in the same building with um, jewelry, glass, uh, ceramics. So there's a lot of interdisciplinary learning. When you are at RISD, you will have to fulfill out of major credits. So even if you were a photography major, you can still take jewelry. You can still have exposure um, and crossover. So you don't really have to give up any of your other interests when you choose a major. That, uh Sculpture major이고요. 이제 그 졸업 전시 장면입니다. 어, 이 건물이 사실 그 주얼리와 글래스 다른 어떤 그 전공들과 같이 쉐어를 하는 공간에 있고요. 그래서 어, 그 어떤 전공을 하나 정했지만 다른 전공의 수업을 듣고 하는 어떤 그런 어, 시스템으로 되어 있기 때문에 인터디스턴에 그러니까 한 전공에 크게 빚지 않고 훨씬 더 이렇게 확장적인 그런 어, 구조입니다. And then textiles, I love this major. It's really obviously um, the making of the fabric, uh, woven techniques, as well as silk screen and printmaking um, related to fabric print pattern repeat. You can be a textiles major and make fabrics related to clothing. You can even design clothing. One of my best friends was always interested in women's wear, but she was a textiles major. And she's been working as a dress designer with Ralph Lauren since graduating. And then you can also take a very non-traditional stance. So this is a great project. Um, she did lots of performance, lots of costume. Um, she did video.
child is interested in um, animation major. Uh -huh. uh, what would be the strength of this major in USD? The strength of like future careers or just how popular, like is it rigorous? Like what would be kind of the uh, strong characteristic in USD oh, for sure. that major? Oh sure, sure. So in, in film animation video, strong characteristics uh, related to the major for the work. Um, typically those students are interested obviously in time-based media, storytelling, um, conceptual ideas with um, kind of what I would call a four dimension. So obviously there's the visual, but there's this idea of time and the overlap of mixing um, environment with character. So a lot of times students enjoy writing, they enjoy the play of drawn characters um, and somewhat illustration. Um, and we do see very pop, within the film animation video major, animation is the most popular. We have amazing outcomes for different alumni. If you guys watch Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane is from um, RISD Animation. Say about art school and RISD, we do not require math and science classes, but we are very serious about the liberal arts. It's about one third of the credits you need to graduate. So you'll take art history, English, also you can take history, philosophy, and the social sciences. We also allow um, what some schools call minors, we call it a concentration. This means you can be an apparel major, minor in creative writing. Uh, you could also be an architecture major and um, minor in art history. You would have to fulfill more credits, but you can do that within the four to five years. We also have a great collaboration with Brown. The first one is cross-registration. So this is where you're a full-time RISD student registering for classes taught at Brown with Brown students by Brown faculty on Brown campus. It's not added tuition, it's a pure benefit. So most likely you won't do it as a freshman, but we do encourage it um, starting sophomore year. Many students do foreign language, maybe math, business, bio, um, and it's, you know, it's a benefit, not added tuition. You don't have to apply to Brown separately. There's no prerequisite. And brown students can take classes at RISD. The other collaboration, which is different than cross-registration, is called dual degree. So this is a five-year um, program. It's a three-part application, and it's only open to incoming freshmen. So you can't transfer into it. Um, there's no graduate program or auditing. So this is where you apply to Brown separately, RISD separately. You get a Bachelor of Arts from Brown, any of their majors, and a BFA, any one of our majors except architecture. So it's five years. It runs through Brown's tuition and Brown's financial aid. So even though you're a student of both school, you're going through that paperwork. You do need to be admitted to both schools as well as the program. Even if you're admitted to the schools, it's not a guarantee to the program. The first year is the RISD Foundation, the second year at Brown, and then alternating semesters thereafter. That's also how the housing is typical, freshman year at RISD, second year at Brown. Um, this is a competitive program, and it's not fit for everyone. Um, just to give you an idea on numbers, 3,000 students apply every year for RISD's freshman application pool. Of those 3,000, 253 300 choose dual degree. About 45 to 60 students get into both schools, and we never accept more than 15 students. So it's quite selective, quite rigorous. It is five years. You're split among two campuses. So no more than 15 students actually get into this. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. The next filter is 15. <laughs> yep. So it's a brown guy. Uh, 
있고요. 어, 그래서 1년 첫 번째 해는 머리씨에 있고, 그러니까 브라운 코스를 어, 리씨에 있고, 브라운 두 번째 해 브라운 대학교에서 이제 어, 수업을 듣고, 어, 이런 어떤 이렇게 어, 브라운과 리씨를 이제 어, 나눠가면서 이렇게 들어가는 그런 수업들이고요. 굉장히 경쟁이 심, 이렇게 어, 경쟁률이 높은 그런 어, 과정인데요. 3천 명이 신입 학생들의 지원자가 있었다면 그 중에 한 200명에 300명이 여기에 지원을 하게 되는데 그 중에서 어, 한 15명만 뽑힙니다. 굉장히 경쟁이 치열한 그런 과정입니다. So getting into application deadlines, um, we have early decision and regular decision for freshmen, November 1, which is binding, which means you have to choose one school. If you are accepted, we expect you to matriculate in the fall. February 1 for regular decision. So important things to know, every applicant has one opportunity per year. So if you apply early decision and you're not accepted, we do not take denied applicants and put them in regular. Um, there are set deadlines, set notification. Um, other schools do that differently. So when you apply early decision, you will probably find out before the new year if the February deadline, typically by the third week of March, also, you know, early decision is for someone who wants to be in Rhode Island, art school, isn't really looking at other schools as their top choice. Um, also, they have taken SATs and TOEFL and they don't need to retake that. Since this deadline is very early, we need everything complete and on time to us. Um, the other thing is, if you're not sure about art school, Rhode Island, RISD, you don't get in. RISD actually really loves transfer applicants. So the application itself is pretty much the same. The biggest difference is that you'll have to have completed one year at a other college, community college, um, that puts you at sophomore status, second year status, and then you apply to the major. Okay. So application, we do use Common App. This is very convenient for freshmen who are applying to other um, Common App schools. It's all online for transfers and also freshmen who don't want to use Common App. We do have a secondary application. It's all online. Um, I do recommend for transfer students, especially if you're not currently enrolled where you can get a lot of um, recommendations or like the counselor to do it because counselors do a lot with the Common App. I recommend the second um, application option. But if you're a student who's doing lots of Common App schools, I would stick to Common App. Uh, 커먼 앱을 통해서 지원을 하게 되는데요. 이제 온라인으로 지원을 하게 되는 거라서 신입생과 어, 편입생들을 위해서 어, 어, 그쓸수 있는 그런 어, 앱입니다. 근데 온라인으로 되어 있고요. 오프라인으로 그러니까 세컨 애플리케이션이라고 말씀하셨는데 그거를 통해서 어, 지원을 또 하실 수 있습니다. 그래서 보통 학교에서 카운셀러들이 이 커먼 앱을 가지고 지원을 하는 경우가 많은데 편입 앱 같은 경우는 학생이 직접 지원을 해야 되니까 세컨 앱, 그러니까 오프라인으로 다른 방식으로 지원할 수 있습니다. Uh, we are using slide room. This is for the portfolio. So everyone must submit a portfolio. Um, we only accept digital reproductions, photos, or scans of your work. If you're doing time-based work, you can also submit it here. One important thing to know is that every many art schools use slide room. That does not mean that you want to submit the same portfolio. Also, we really encourage just the name, the title, the size and year, and maybe what it's made out of. Um, we don't read descriptions. So it's not necessary to fill out a description. We really want the work to stand on its own. 
Um, for portfolio, we want 12 to 20 images of your best and most current work. So when you're applying as a freshman, it's really the last two years, junior year, the summer in between, and senior fall semester. If you're applying as a transfer, really no more than the last 24 months. Um, and we really want you to edit your work. So it's a minimum of 12 pieces, which is fairly a lot. So if you only have 12 or 13, that's okay. Definitely edit your work. Um, I also encourage, do not put one type of style or work or medium or size. We do want to see um, your strong suit, but we also want to see that you have technical skill, um, you're able to take risks, and you can do things that challenge you. We also do ask for three pages from the sketchbook. So this is in addition to the portfolio. Uh, slide room allows up to 25 slides, so you will be able to submit it that way. Um, and those can be anything. It can be unfinished work, um, sketches, storyboard ideas, how you set up your camera. It can be music lyrics. It can be poems. It does not have to be just visual. questions about portfolio. Program, so it is not something where you have to do it in order to get into RISD. It's not necessarily um, a bias or an added extra bonus, but we do find students who experience it have a better idea of RISD expectations. They're prepared more for the application as well as they know if Providence or RISD is the right fit. So it runs through continuing education, which is not admissions. It does have more of a rolling admissions. I do encourage you, go online. It typically starts registration online the January before the summer you're interested. The pre-college program is sending in two charcoal drawings in person. Yeah, <laughs> next slide, excellent, excellent lead in, perfect. You must know my presentation, this is good. So two home test drawings, um, we're one of the few schools that asked for this. So this is two required drawings, every applicant must do it, freshman and transfer. This year we've changed them up a little, so this is posted on our website, um, we post it every usually by the end of September, if not the first or second week of September. So if you're not applying this year, wait until um, the new prompts for essays as well as drawings. So I will talk about them. There are two of them, 16 by 20 on white paper. So just generic white paper. Um, the first one is observe and draw a bicycle or an interior space. 
and you can use graphite or charcoal. Now that is pretty open for interpretation. These drawings are important, they're required, we need them as the originals, but they do not weigh more than portfolio. There's no secret answer we're looking for. Um, you don't have to spend 60 hours or 10 months on these drawings. You know, take a weekend, get inspired. So I do recommend if you're going to do a bicycle, refer to it from life, but you could manipulate that. It could be the metamorphosis of a bicycle. It could be the way you feel on a bike. Same with the interior space. That could be the inside of this room. It could be the inside of a typewriter, the inside of your mind. It doesn't have to be literal. We want you to really interpret and translate. The second drawing also has two options. So the first one is create a drawing instrument or tool. Use that instrument or tool to make the drawing and then you upload just an image of it. So we had a lot of students show us videos of them interacting with the tool. I gave a great example earlier. A student was really interested in rust. So she rusted some nails in a a bucket of water, and then she took a masonite board, a magnet, and a piece of paper and dragged the nails up and down the board for mark making. So, you know, thinking outside the box is really important for these. We also love to see weird and unexpected. And then the second drawing option, um, if you choose it, make a drawing that expresses sound, light, motion, or time. So both of them are required. They have to be sent to us in the original format. The most important thing is you label your name, your birth date, and your address, as well as you have to fold it down and send it in a standard nine by 12 envelope. So that's important. Um, we don't need full size. I would encourage you, make these two drawings part of your portfolio. So it's already two of the 12 to 20. Um, they're gonna be probably great drawings. And then just send it to us on time um, for application review. Address. Address. Yeah. questions about this okay good okay and then we have two writing samples these are very straightforward they're short 400 words at most um, the first one will come from common app essay so when you apply as a transfer if you're not using common app we share those questions in the application um, typically you choose one of the essays and then we, whichever one you choose we read it and the second one this year is choose a visual artist or designer past or present uh, how would you spend the day with them? What would you learn? What would you ask? I really encourage you, choose someone unique, maybe obscure, someone we don't know. I guarantee people will send us Picasso, Monet. That's boring. <laughs> Do something else, um, please. And then three letters of recommendation. So this is not required, but encouraged. So our teacher, mentor, uh, counselor at school, someone you work with after school, maybe someone who knows you well. It does not have to be a teacher or administrator. Mm. Uh, uh, Common app, 
어, 묻는 그런 질문에 대답하셔야 되는데 아티스트나 디자이너를 한명 골라서 그 사람과 하루를 보낼 수 있다면 어떤 어, 하루를 보낼지 어떤 질문을 할지 어떤 대화를 할지에 대한 거고 어, 분명히 마티스나 뭐 이런 유명한 화가들이 많이 나왔으니까 조금 덜 유명하고 좀잘안 알려지거나 했던 그런 인물들이 어, 를 어, 정하시는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. 그리고 어, 필수는 아니지만 어, 저희 이렇게 그 권해지는 추천서가 어, 세세개 정도가 있어요. Okay. We do have academic requirements, so we need your official transcript. So when you apply as a freshman, it should be from your high school. If you're applying for, as your transfer, um, it should be your three most current years, which might include high school. If not, that's OK, a y but we need to see that. We do require SAT or ACT for all freshman applicants. If you're applying as a transfer, if you've been out of high school for more than three years, you're waived. If you were in high school but you hadn't taken the SAT and you're applying as a transfer, we probably waive you from that. But typically, freshman applicants should be applying with the SAT or ACT. And if English is not your first language and you do not consider it, regardless of your citizenship, we do require TOEFL or IELTS, one or the other. TOEFL and IELTS are the only two tests here that actually have minimums, which is 93 for TOEFL, 6.5 for IELTS. A typical applicant that comes in to RISD as a non-native speaker is usually achieving 101, 102 on TOEFL. Uh, GPA is about a B plus or an 89, 3.3 on a 4.0 scale. We do recalculate, so we don't count things like homeroom, phys ed, extracurricular activities, and we won't count your visual or performing arts. So only core academics. SAT or ACT, no minimum there, but typical applicant is about mid 600, 630 um, for math, writing, verbal. Uh, yes, yeah, 600 to 630. So about 1,800,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,900,
Um, so 79% of freshmen who applied for aid and had need received a RISD need-based scholarship, and then 85% of transfers in a similar situation. So there's great external scholarships. IEFA.org is specific for international students. And then fastweb.com, mainly for domestic students, but I would encourage you to look at those as well. They call together lots of corporate and outside scholarships, CVS, um, Coca-Cola, Pfizer, YouTube, C-SPAN, Doritos, Seventeen Magazine, and there's lots of creative scholarships out there. So look for them, write essays about why you want to go to college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 어 그래서 인터내셔널 학생이든지 아니면 뭐 미국 학생이든지 상관없이 어, 어 어떤 그 포트폴리오의 질, 퀄리티에 의해서 이제 학생이 정해지는 거고요. 어그 리드 베이스는 미국 국적을 가진 학생 또는 어 미국 영주권이 있는 학생들이 어 지원을 합니다. 그래서 FAFSA CSS 프로파일이라는 프로, 저 기관들을 통해서 지원을 하실 수 있고요. 그 외에 어, IFA.org라는 곳은 다른 국제 학생들이 지원할 수 있는 장학금을 어, 어, 가지고 있는 기관입니다. 그쪽에 어, 그 웹사이트에 가셔서 에세이를 내가 장학금 받고 싶을 때 에세이를 작성하셔서 지원을 하시면 어, 장학금 받으실 수 있고요. bestweb.com이라는 어, 미국 학생들을 위한 다른 이 리티 외에 장학금을 받을 수 있는 곳이 있습니다. <목소리> So we have some great facts and stats. We're small school, student to faculty ratio is about nine to one. Almost 400 students every year take classes at Brown, uh, 56 nationalities represented, 24% international population. Our largest population is coming from Asia. Um, first to second year, that's freshman persistence, that's 95%. So we're not the type of school where you come one year and you transfer out. We hardly lose students to transfer, getting kicked out, flunking out, and then through graduation is 87%. Okay. Yeah. 그래서 okay. 어 아까 보신 대로 교, 교수대 학생 비율이 9대 1이고요. 음. 어 24% 정도의 학생들이 어그 외국 학생들이고 어 이제 첫 학교 학교 1년을 과정을 마쳤을 때뭐 다시 다른 데로 편입을 한다든지 이런 비율이 굉장히 낮습니다. 그래서 95%의 학생들이 계속 진행을 하는 경우고 이제 마지막에 졸업을 하는 학생의 비율은 87%입니다. And then all of our working, um, all of our faculty are working artists, designers, and scholars. So Henry Hornstein, uh, he's an alumni as well as a photography, well known for his black and white photography. Edward Duarte, international um, faculty in interior architecture. This is very important. When you come to RISD, you will have an advisor. Typically, it's one of your studio faculty. And then you move into your department, um, and you will have a new advisor related to your department, as well as open lines of communication with your department head. Typically, first year transfers, your advisor is a department head, unless you're in a very large major where they have to split it up. Um, but they're a connection to the art world. They could refer you to your first job, internship, grad school, tell you what it's really like to work for yourself or um, apply for grants, residencies. All of that life experience um, is great. They're lifelong mentors. Uh, 모든 교수진들이 지금 활동하고 있는 어, 아티스트나 디자이너들이고요. 지금 보신 듯이 헨리 홈스타인은 어, 흑백 사진으로 계속 어, 유명하게 활동하게 하고 있고, 에드워드 드워트라는 어, 인테리어 아키텍트, 아키텍트 건축가입니다. 그래서 어, 첫번첫해 신입으로 들어갔을 때 어드바이저가 있는데 이때는 보통 어, 자기가 공부하고 있는 스튜디오의 교수가 되고요. 그 외에 이제 2학년 때부터 자기 전공의 그 학장. 누가 어, 보통은 어드바이저가 됩니다. 어, 그래서 이제 내가 진출을 하고 싶은 어떤 그런 영역이나 어, 뭐 내가 사업을 하고 싶다든지 어떤 지원금을 받고 싶다든지 이렇게 할때 내가 바로 이렇게 어, 연결을 해서 어, 직접 물어보고 대화할 수 있는 그런 분들이기 때문에 어, 어떤 인생의 멘토라고 할수 있다. Great. 
So getting into careers, outcomes, internships, uh, RISD wants you thinking about your career day one when you get started. We are an international school. We have an amazing reputation all over the world with various companies, um, various corporations in fine arts as well as design. Um, we've had 72% of our RISD students do an internship, 50% do two or more. Most of our information is listed online. Even though you're living and learning in Providence, that's not the limit of where you'll go for your job or your career. You can intern anywhere, any size company. Uh, 직업과 이제 그 인턴십에 대해서 말씀드리겠는데요. 학교를 이제 입학하자마자 우리 직업에 대해서 어, 고민하고 그런 어, 학교입니다. 그래서 굉장히 좋은 어떤 그 어, reputation을 갖고 리스가 굉장히 좋은 어, 그 인지도를 가지고 있잖아요. 그래서 어, 아주 유명한 그 회사들과 인턴십을 할수 있는 기회가 있고요. 어, 72%의 학생들이 인턴십을 어, 했고 하고 어, 50% 정도의 학생들이 뭐두 곳이나 한세곳 정도 몇곳 어, 여러 군데에서 인턴십을 수, 하고 있습니다. So we have a great portfolio website. This hosts all of our students as well as alumni work for free for the rest of your life. This is very important. Nowadays, when you apply for a job or an internship, they do want to see your resume, but the work is most important. So especially for students who can't be taking home work um, or making really large scale work, it's a great way to document and then have various portfolios for jobs. <laughs> 학생들이나 졸업생들이 계속 어, 내내 그러니까 졸업을 하고 나서 직업을 갖고 이렇게 계속 어, 쓸수 있는 웹사이트라서 어, 이제 뭐 어떤 그 직업을 위해서 인터뷰를 한다든지 할때잘쓸수 있는 그런 웹사이트. Mm -hmm. We also have on-campus recruitment. So this happens every spring, juniors, seniors, and graduate students of every major. We have a design day as well as fine arts day. Um, it's housed in our convention center downtown. It's so large. Um, this is where outside employers are purposely coming on campus to hire and recruit from RISD. So usually one or both of the people um, from the company are RISD alumni or they have a deep connection to the department. So they have a good job description or an idea of an opportunity that aligns with our students. So this is just a quick short list of some of the companies that hire and recruit from RISD. We currently do have students and alumni working with them. So again, you can go anywhere. You can also work for a non-creative company doing something creative or you know, being a research and developer for them, um, really putting your innovation into practice. 어 이제 매년 봄 어, 컨벤션 센터 로드앤드 그 프로비던스의 컨벤션 센터 굉장히 큰 곳에서 어, 회사들이 어, 학생이나 졸업생을 어, 그 고용하기 위해서 그런 어, 이벤트를 갖는데요. 어, 그잡 디스크립션이 이제 학생들과 잘 매치가 되, 되도록 그렇게 어, 이제 회사들이 잘 알고 있고요. 어, 꼭뭐 이런 지금 여기 보시는 회사들이 어, 학생들이 어, 고용이 되거나 이렇게 한 그런 회사들인데 꼭 이렇게 어떤 창의적 기초로 어, 음, 집중한 그런 회사 외에 어떤 리서치 베이스라든지 그렇지 않은 회사에서 뭔가 창의적인 일을 하고 싶다든지 그렇게 하는 경우도 있습니다. Um, we have a great alumni magazine. I have a copy for you here. It really highlights RISD in the press and media, staying in touch with your alumni. Um, also, these are some images, you know, as I said, we have some students who major in something and do something very different. These are examples of very successful alums. Jill Greenberg, she actually has done very notable editorial photo shoots as well as people of notoriety. She was a photography major. Um, Katie Gallagher, she actually has her own fashion line. She was in New York Fashion Week. She was an apparel major. Um, the last, uh, Air, airbender avatar, illustration major Brian Konetsko, he continues to work in that field. And then we also have students who are changing that idea. Jessica Walsh, she's partnered um, with a great firm in New York City doing graphic design, but she's pushing the boundaries of graphic design. Kara Walker, some of you know this artist, um, world renowned, she's also a MacArthur Genius Award winner. Um, just recently in New York, if you're in New York City this summer, she did a large kind of sculptural sphinx, um, this white sculpture is all made out of sugar, and then she did smaller um, ch sculptures of children made out of molasses. 어, 알럼나이 그 졸업생 어, 잡지로 리시 아, XYZ 아까 보셨고요. 그래서 이제 패스나 이런 어떤 어, 그 미디어에서 졸업생들이 어떻게 활발하게 화, 활동하고 있는지 볼수 있습니다. 성공적인 이제 학생 어, 졸업생들의 예로 예를 어, 보여드렸고요. 어떤 이런 제시카 월시 
같은 경우는 어떤 그 경계를 어, 무너뜨리는 그런 작업을 어, 하고 있는 그런 디자이너고요. 파라워커는 유명한 그 작가이죠. 그래서 그 뉴욕에 이번에 지금 어, 설치가 된 작품인데 어, 어, 그 설탕으로 이렇게 크게 큰 스핑크스를 어, 만든 그런 모양입니다. Um, some just awards and fellowships kind of uh, ideas. Nine MacArthur Genius Awards um, as of 2014. 63 Fulbright recipients. That's one third more than any other college or university. We're also a top producing Fulbright program, meaning we are competitive with places like Harvard, Princeton, MIT. Um, I recently, last year when I was here, I uh, met up with a recent alumni. She graduated in painting, and she was a Fulbright winner. So she's Korean American. She was born and raised in California, but she sent out a proposal proposal where she wanted to work with Doho Sa, his studio and the museum. Um, so she was an award recipient. She spent a year here in Korea. Um, so really wonderful outcomes. And are they familiar with Fulbright? OK, so Fulbright is a government-funded um, program. You do submit a proposal, but you have to do one year away of research and study from your native country. So if you're a US citizen, you have to do it out of the United States if you're from Seoul. So it's a great opportunity. Um, it also gives you an opportunity like right after graduation. If you're not sure where you want to go or stuck to a company, you can actually pursue more work um, and ideas. Uh, 를 보여드리고 있는데 풀브라이트는 어, 미국 그 미국에서 정부가 어, 지원하는 지원금이고요. 어, 그 자기가 태어난 국가 외에 나가서 1년을 보내면서 어, 어떤 리서치를 하거나 활동을 하는 그런 어, 지원금이기 때문에 어, 장학금이라고 할수 있죠. 그래서 그거를 위해서 프로포저를 내야 됩니다. 어, 그래서 63명이 이제까지 어, 성공적으로 어, 어, 받아왔고요. 이 숫자는 사실 다른 학교에 비해서 한 3분의 1 정도 어, 더 많은 수치입니다. 그래서 어, 어떤 예로 그 한국계 미국인인 졸업생이 풀브라이트를 받아서 서도와 같이 이렇게 어, 공부작업, 아니, 공부작업은 같이 이렇게 1년을 과정을 보내면서 어, 그 풀브라이트를 어, 과정, 어, 했던 그런 경험이 있습니다. So RISD is really about critical thinking, innovation, the making. Um, RISD graduates and students have a high level of craftsmanship and ideas. They're usually hired along to really promote ideas um, and introduce new things to the table. We also include lifelong professional development and opportunities. I think a lot of people outside the RISD bubble think we're very competitive, cutthroat. We only make, eat, drink, art, and design all the time. That's probably like 2% true. We love what we do. Um, but you're surrounded by very hardworking, talented, intelligent individuals. They're committed to um, the making and design of art and design. Um, but they're just all different individuals from different backgrounds. So as much as your faculty um, direction is important, the peer-to-peer -peer learning, the selectivity that happens at RISD will challenge you and promote you to be better. Um, I encourage you, you know, everything is online now. Start thinking about applying. Um, it's on rizzy.edu. If you're thinking about graduate school, I can also help answer those questions. Any questions? Yes. Sure. Good question. So the question was, if you apply for dual degree and you're only accepted to one school, um, yes, you can attend that school. You would no longer be in the running for dual degree. And then you would have the option, especially between Brown and RISD, if you wanted to take RISD classes or Brown classes, you can do that. So typically, once you find out when you're not accepted to one school, you're automatically out of the program. But you can still choose the school that you get into. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tuition is different only because it's Brown's tuition and Brown's financial aid. So I believe Brown tuition is slightly increased, and they deal with financial aid and scholarship differently for international as well as domestic students. So you're still a student of RISD. You will take classes. You'll live there. But it's all through one um, school, which would be Brown instead of RISD. Yeah. Questions? Yes. You're majoring in uh, management. management. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
good question. So she's interested in graduate programs. She has a management background. So one good thing with RISD, um, graduate school, we do not require GREs. Some programs might prefer to see it, but you don't have to. Um, we do also allow non-pre-art and design undergraduates to apply. So that's totally fine. Depending on the uh, department you're interested in, we usually offer two year or three year. Three year is usually for those students who have done a non-art and design undergraduate. You have to have completed a four year residential accredited program. It could be international or domestic. And then your application is slightly different. Um, every department for grad level has a, a different portfolio statement of purpose. So that's all listed online, um, but you're welcome to apply as a non-art and design. Yep. Mm -hmm. You would probably be in a three-year program. Yeah. Good question. Other questions? Okay. So if you have filled out the card, pass it forward unless you're being reviewed. Um, and if you're being reviewed, hold on to it because I will collect it when I review you. Yeah.